What's up everybody and welcome back to the Skyline Dune YouTube channel. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to help support the channel and for more content. Now in today's video we actually got uh, quite a few things going on, but first thing is first, and we have to take a closer look at the Subaru. So before we get started officially with the video, I definitely want to uh, A, wash this car because it's disgusting, B, I want to fix uh, this going on here. Now if you guys uh, didn't know, this is actually silver from the factory. I'm talking about this kind of stripping that goes right under the windows, it goes all the way down the car here. It's actually silver from the factory. I plasti dipped it probably like two, three years ago, and as you can see, it's just starting to, uh, if it focuses there, starting to come off quite a bit. And it's been like this for like three months and it's just been totally bugging me. It's the same on the other side too. So I think before it gets too hot here today, we're gonna wash this car really quick. We're gonna respray this, showing you that uh, Plasti Dip can be a mod. So I don't really feel like washing the car right now. So through the magic of YouTube, we'll make it happen. Whoop, oh, sorry. I don't know, I'm not very good at this. Let, let's try this again. Come on. All right. That's better. Oh, also, uh, I also had to wash my wife's car. So, yep, I'm definitely a good husband. At least uh, I think so, right? Okay, guys, so I'm gonna tape this up real quick. We're gonna spray it down. Now, typically, uh, you do not want to Plasti Dip anything in direct sunlight, which it might be by the time I get to this, but I am a Plasti Dip professional, so, you know. Unfortunately, one of the only good things that uh, newspaper is good for nowadays. Don't try this at home, kids. I am a plastic professional. Okay, so we are all done here. Let's take a look at it. As you can see, much better. Something about being a car guy and like the littlest things on your car that just bug you and you know that 99% of the people are not going to notice, you know, you just have to fix them. So this for my OCD feels much better. Now, on with the vlog. So as for a little Skyline update here, I am going to be ordering some new parts for this. Um, they should probably take a couple weeks to get here, but once they do, we're going to install those. And uh, this car is definitely going to get a little makeover for the hopefully the summer. Um, that includes some new wheels. Look for another video for that. But uh, yep, that is the update on the Skyline. Now I'm sure you guys noticed that my wife's car is actually back. We did get rid of the, uh, the charger. The charger is gone, so... Uh... Let's give it a moment of silence. Okay, so yep, charger's gone. Wife's car's back. Uh, we can take a look at the bumper, actually. That was messed up, if you guys remember in my last video. So, as you can see, the, uh, yeah, bumper is all fixed. So, as uh, some of you guys have already heard and probably already seen a couple videos on it by now, but um, Ford has actually decided to get rid of a lot of its uh, car lineup, um, basically because you know they sell mostly trucks and SUVs. So I believe it was by the year 2020 they plan on getting rid of you know all the the small cars like the Fiesta and the Focus. And normally people wouldn't care about this stuff, but obviously the big deal is because of the you know Fiesta ST, Focus ST, and Focus RS. The Focus RS was going anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. But with the Focus ST, a lot of there's a lot of Focus ST. Owners, I know for a fact, even around here, they're all kind of like, well, what the hell? We're not even going to have, you know, after 2020, the Focus ST is done too. So it, it's definitely a, a bold move by Ford. I see why they're doing it. You know, if, if you're really good at something, just stick to what you're good at. 
you know, it might not hurt their sales as much. Obviously, they have their plan worked out. But the question is, is now that the, you know, Fiesta and the Focus are gone, does that open up room for Subaru to kind of just take over? Now, obviously, they can't fully take over because you still have cars like, you know, the GTI around that are in the, the same class. But obviously, the Focus ST is still a huge competitor to Subaru. I mean, I would say, you know, in the last couple of years, they've definitely maybe even gotten close to almost overselling, you know, WRXs. But now with that gone, I think um, it's either going to do one of two things. It's either going to make Subaru even better or it might even make Subaru a little worse, and I only say that because of, of competition. You know, when your main competition leaves, I'm really hoping that Subaru doesn't get lazy about it with, you know, the new updated WRX, which I'm really looking forward to. In fact, that's the main reason why I'm holding on to this so long, is I'm really anxious to see what Subaru does with the latest generation of, you know, WRX slash STI, and I'm hoping they just blow it out of the water because that's what I really want, because that is what I would trade this particular car in for. So leave a comment in the comment section below. What do you think about, you know, no more Fiesta ST or no more Focus ST? Um, obviously, I think it may increase the value of the cars that are out there currently, only because if you really like that car and you're a diehard fan, guess what? That's it. I am a little bit disappointed because I was really hoping to see, you know, what the new generation of that car would look like. And... And especially with the Focus RS, I was kind of really disappointed that this was the only generation because there was one point where I was really looking at the Focus RS as a serious option, you know, to trade this in and get it. Now, I didn't ultimately go that route. I actually, you know, bought the Skyline instead of trading this and buying a Focus RS and modding it. Um, but either way, I was really hoping to see the new generation of Focus RS or a new generation of Focus RS and see what they, you know, had in store for it. And definitely the one thing I hope Subaru does bring back is the WRX hatchback. Bring back the hatch, Subaru. If you guys are watching this, bring the hatch back. I obviously, well, obviously I drive the sedan, um, but I used to have a Mazda Speed 3 hatchback and I loved it. And if they came out with an awesome new design and it was a hatchback, I'd definitely go the hatchback route. But um, I think it's now is Subaru's time to shine. They know their main, com one of their main competition is out. So now all they have to do is, you know, deal with the GTI. And um, I think Subaru is going to blow it out of the water. I just have a feeling that they are. They did a good job with the, the latest updated one. But I think now that the competition's gone, it's time for Subaru to shine. Also, uh, before I wrap up this video, I kind of want to uh, ask your guys' opinion on something. I got an offer from a local uh, a Subaru owner who wants to trade wheels. Now, obviously... If you guys, you guys know, I have the white RPF ones and I've had these wheels for like three years and that's a long time for me. He has gold NTO threes, Enki NTO threes, same size, you know, same offset, whatever, everything. And he wants to do a straight up trade. So I'm pretty tempted in doing that. What do you guys think? Should I ditch the white and go with gold? They're gold NTO3s. If they were black NTO3s, I would have easily done it right away just for a change, but they're gold. I know that's classic Subaru, but I don't know. Leave a comment. What do you guys think about that? And don't forget to leave a comment on what you guys think on, you know, getting, you know, Ford's bold decision on just getting rid of almost, it feels like half their lineup and, and stuff like that. But um, anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this video. If you are not subscribed to the channel, you definitely should be, and I would definitely appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to check out the next video I'm going to post. We are going to be straight piping the skyline. Totally looking forward to that. Car's just too quiet, right? Um, but thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you on the next video. Yeah!